Hi, and welcome to another another uh, YouTube video in the PBCS series that we are currently putting together. Um, this video focuses on unpivoting data using the Excel Power Query for loading into PBCS, or essentially any system, not only PBCS, you could load this into Space or FCCS, or Planning, or HFM, whatever you wanted to do, or any system, essentially. So what we're going to do here is, a sync, is do the opposite of what normally happens. Normally, people get extracts out of a relational database of some sort, dump it into Excel, and build, a, build pivot tables off that extract. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take a pivot table or data in a pivot table format and put that back into a relational format so we can load into into in, uh, into into a system in this case it was uh, PBCS so the first thing we're going to do and we're going to use power query which is a which is built into Excel 2016 it's under this data tab here it's get and transform it's this get and transform section um, in Excel 2010 and 2013, you need to install it as an add-in, and it would it would appear in your add-in section, and you would have the same functionality here. But the nice thing about Excel 2016, it's as I said, it's already built in. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we'll want to do is we open up our report. So I've already already have that. The report is already opened up, as we can see here. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're just going to define a a, a named range here. So this will be much easier in case in, in case the report expands or we need to change something. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to define that. So we're going to go to formulas. We're going to go define name. And we're just going to call this range. We'll just call it report for right now. Okay. And that's our range. So it's going from A8 to H21 okay so that's our range now and now we can see it here we have it here in report okay perfect and this is just for read the reason why we do this is is as you see further down we'll uh, if we want to reuse this query we'll actually use this this range so the next thing we'll do is we want to load this range into power query so we're going to go to data we're going to go to from table is here and once we click from table we'll see here it opens up this query editor so now we have this is essentially a power query so we you'll notice here this brings this data here into this power query window and you'll notice that all the first thing you'll notice that all the blank the blanks in the report are now nulls and um, obviously zeros are zeros which is absolutely correct that's the way it should be um so the next thing we, as you can see that the data does open up it's a little bit ugly but you know it's informative view of the data and so the first next thing we'll want to do here is we're going to want to select column one and we're going to want to fill down so what we'll do is we'll go to transform and then we'll go to fill and then down and that will essentially copy all these account categories down uh, to the direct to the correct accounts and you'll see why why we needed to do that now in in, in a in, in a couple of further on steps um, and the uh, by the way just as a side note the fill up would do the same thing as well it obviously the fill down fills everything the the account above it goes down but if you wanted to do it the other way around you can also do a fill up so it does a bunch of powerful functions in here as well in in power query it's a pretty awesome tool so now the as i said the account classification now is looking a lot better so the next thing we want to do is we'll want to try and transpose the data so we're just going to go to transform transpose click on that button so to transpose the data is essentially pivots the rows to the columns the columns to the rows so anybody used to smart view you know PBCS smart view or SPA smart view we just did a pivot that's essentially what what we did and the next thing we want to do we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna want to do the same type of thing we're gonna just do the same fill down here for the months and um, that we did 
uh, previously on the account classification. So we want to do fill, fill down. Perfect. Okay, so that now looks good. And we're going to want to select column one and column two, which is these two guys. And we'll want to merge these together. And I'm going to, there's a reason why we do this. But well, as we go further on, it, it, it will make sense. So we're going to merge these guys together. So we go transform. <clears throat> okay, hold on one second. And merge columns. There we go. There's the merge columns. All right. Okay, so now it's asking us what would we what would we like to do here? How would we like to do this? So I'm going to say I want a custom mer I want a custom separator. So I could use, you know, a colon or an equal sign or whatever else. I'm going to use a custom separator. I'm actually going to use a pipe here. And the reason why I'm using a pipe is because it's rarely used in any other files. So it's a good delimiter. It's a good thing to use to delimit columns. So once I do that, we can see here that now we've merged column one and column two. And now we can see September pipe actual, September budget, uh, September pipe budget, and so on and so forth. Okay, so great. So the next thing we we'll want to do is we'll want to flip it back again. And we'll want to transpose these and um, the uh, rows and columns around again. So we're going to go here. I'm going to click transpose. It turns things back the other way around. So now we've got our account classification here and our and our essentially our scenario and our periods merged here in this top row. So the very next thing we're going to do is we are going to use the first row as headers after our transpose. So that is this button here. Use first row as headers. It will move those up. Now we've got September pipe actual is now in the header. September pipe budget is now in the header. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to rename, rename the first column, this pipe column, as class, which is essentially account classification. So if I right click on this column, you can see here we have a number of options that appear and I want to choose rename. So I'm going to choose rename and I'm going to type class. Next thing I want to do is select this column, the pipe underscore one. Again, rename this. Oops, did I miss it that time? Ah, okay, so it seems to be working now. So we're just going to rename this column to account okay so we've got those two done so the next thing we want to do is we want to filter out the nulls here I'm just going to go in here and uncheck null so all our nulls gone and so what we're next thing we're going to do is we're going to now do or on pivot. And this is a really, this is really the magic of Power Query. What you can do is right click here and say on pivot columns, or I can say on pivot, pivot other columns. So what we'll essentially do is I'm going to choose this on pivot other columns, which will on pivot everything else but what I have selected. So I'm just going to click on pivot other columns. Perfect. Okay, so now this is looking a lot more like what I want. So finally, the last thing we've got to do is do a little bit of cleanup here the attribute column we got to split this out so we can do that by just right clicking it and doing split column oops by delimiter and this is the reason why we put in the pipe earlier on and um, this will work as it should work as a very nice delimiter for us we should be able to split that column out there we go okay so that's split out and now we're going to rename this attribute one column here as month m o n th and this attribute two column as measure and then we're going to select these four columns here and we're going to change their type change the type to text doesn't it's not really set to anything well oh, I think it was set to text but now we've absolutely made a text and then this one here we're going to change this change type to the value column to decimal number 
we've just done and then I'm just going to rename this value column to amount okay and once that's all done oh and one important thing the name of this query you can see here it's report 2 I'm just going to call this on pivot p-i-v-o-t so you just call it on pivot um, and you can then this is totally reusable if you had another file you can again you can reuse these queries to use against another file if you wanted it no problem there so I'm just going to save this as on quit on pivot and then when I click close and load it will actually dump this data in the right format into Excel for me so I'm just going to click close and load so that's power query done it's now going to do its hopefully do its magic and we can see here that this is now our table that we formatted so that's pretty much it we have now unpivoted our data um, and now this is in a format that we can load into any system this is now in a relational format and that is pretty much it and uh, just a few other things this process can be fully automated and um, I am um, it power query I believe uses the M language and you can fully automate that and uh, I believe you can use it to load into analysis services 2017 if you're interested in that but it also saves these queries over here if you know on my right hand side let me shrink up my workbook a little bit so you can see that see what I'm talking about here if you can see my workbook here you'll notice oops oops sec here to get this to the right size you'll notice these workbook queries over here this is called on pivot as well so this you can go in here it saves these queries and, and right click them and you can edit them or duplicate them or you know if I do load to that will actually rerun it as well so this is all the different pieces that you can actually do with that query that you just created essentially what a lot of what power query is it's it's a essentially a macro recorder if you remember if I edit this again you'll remember the various steps that we went through these are the applied steps this is kind of it's like a macro recorder it records all the manipulations that you do so that's basically it and um, if anybody has any questions please let me know you can certainly send send uh, uh, any questions to the email that we provided at the end um, thank you very much for your time thank you